Hi, my dear friends. My name is Charlie Bucket, and today I want to tell you one magnificent story about me and the Willy Wonka and his magnificent chocolate factory. dressed as walkers to steal Mr. Wonka's secret recipes. Finally, Mr. Wonka shouted, I shall be ruined! Close the factory! And that's just what he did. He locked the gates and vanished completely. Then, suddenly, about three months later, the most amazing thing happened. The factory began working again, full blast. And more delicious candies were coming out than ever before. But the gates stayed locked. But Grandpa, someone must be helping Mr. Wonka walk the factory. Thousands must be helping him. But who? Who are they? That is the biggest mystery of them all. <laughs> Now, with the tales of sudden announcement that has captured the attention of the entire world. Hiding among the countless billions of Wonka bars are five gold tickets, and the five people who find them will come the most fabulous prize one would wish for a lifetime supply of chocolate. 
And as, if this weren't enough, each winner before he receives his prize will be personally escorted through the top secret chocolate factory. They're all crazy. Shh! The man is a genius. He'll sell a million bars. By the mythical Willy Wonka himself. The amount of chocolate involved in this competition has related the imagination to inside candy eaters and all citizens around the world. Grandpa, do you think? I got a chance I got a chance to find one. What? <clears throat> I'm counting on you to find all five. Once. Enough for me. We began with five golden tickets, like five lucky balls of lightning ready to strike without notice at any point on the map. No one knew where, no one knew when, the first one would hit. But as you all know, last night we got our answer. While we in America slept, uh, the first golden ticket was found in the small town of Dasselheim, Germany. We've been waiting several hours for a follow-up story. And we are finally ready with a live report. Proud we are for the attention of the entire world focuses today right here in Tusliheim. A community suddenly thrust into by the unexpected discovery of the first Wonka Golden Ticket. Its lucky finder is the son uh, for our most prominent bar butcher. Uh, the boy's name Augustus Gloop. Augustus Gloop is the, uh, the pride of Tusselheim, the famous Western Germany, an example of the whole world. Augustus, how does it make uh, to you feel to be the first golden fi golden ticket finder? Hungry. Any other things? No. Okay, Mrs. Gloop. What do you care to say a few words to the television evidence? I just knew what Augustus would find a golden ticket. It is his hobby, you know. He always eats. He eats uh, everything like little piglet. I love my son. He has the best. Happy birthday, Charlie! Thanks. Thanks. Here you are. Oh, it's Wonka. Oh, we Charlie. Let's see that golden ticket. It's a fat race. Never gold. mind. Open it, Charlie. I want to see that gold. Stop it, Dad. I've got the same chance as anybody else, haven't I? You've got it more, Charlie, because you want it more. Go on, open it. Here it goes. Oh, I got it. Where? Let's see. Ta da, it's a joke. Never mind. You'll find one. Everybody have a. And the next golden ticket was found in London, United Kingdom, by Veruca Sol. I wanted to be the first who find this golden ticket. I know about this competition and I stopped all work in my factory and all workers were searching a golden ticket from a million bars of Wonka's chocolate until they found a ticket for my sweetheart daughter. This can happen right here too, unbelievable as it sounds, right here in America, where even in a small town the happiest of dreams can come true, because folks, here she is, Miss Val Perkart, the final of Wonka's Golden Ticket number 3 from Mile City, Montana. And with her, the proud parents, Mr. Perkart, a prominent local politician, a great civic leader, a philosopher. I'm very happy that my daughter has one gold ticket. Come on, Dad, you don't want you. Thank you, sir. Violet, would you care to say a few words to the nation? Sure, I will. Tell us how it's happened, Violet. Mm, well, I'm a gum chew normally, but when I heard about this ticket thing so one case I let off gum and switched to candy bars instead. Now, of course, I'm uh, right back on gum and uh, I'm chew it all day, expect on meals. Why it? Cool that this piece of gum here is one I've been chewing for three months and it's a world record. Let me to say... Just a minute, the seasons. Just two tickets left. 
and I think that we'll be fine by disgusting children like Primus. I hope that Charlie will find it. Don't forget, old fool. Usually, kid can't find the golden ticket because all rich daddies bought a lot of Wonka's chocolate bars, and nobody stops them. Ha! <laughs>
gambler from Paraguay made up a phony ticket. It means there is one voted ticket still floating around somewhere. Can you imagine the nerve of that guy trying to fool a whole world? Oh, he really was a cool. Does this mean the contest goes on forever? Want to play the view? Find the next one. Tickets. It was a fake. I got some money in the street and I bought a chocolate bar. Charlie. Look. Yippee! Greetings, Joe, for heaven's sake. Greetings to you, the lucky finder of this golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. Present this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your family but no one else. In your wildest dreams you could not imagine the marvelous surprises that await you. Charlie, you've done it! Grandpa Joe, will you come with me? Yes! Hey mom, we are on TV. Hi everybody. Hi Billy. Hi Maggie. Hi Fish Face. How do I look? You guys ready? Yeah, you're. You're welcome. Hi friends. Sam got here. Don't forget to visit my auto market. Cut it out, Dad. This is my shop. Hi Cornelia, sweetie. I still got it. I won't go in before anybody else. Anything you say, my sweetheart? Save the room for later. I was darling. Grandpa, mm -hmm. I don't believe it. We're, we're, we're actually going in. You're going to see the greatest of them all, Mr. Willy Wonka. <laughs> I think it will be the most excited day in your life. I'm very excited. Nice to meet you. You look pretty in this mean coat. I've got three others at home. And you are Mr. Salt. Nice to meet you. 
Just go in there. August Gloop, sir! Oh, August. Nice to meet you in such good mood. And this is your mother, Miss Gloop. Please come. Oh. Violet Girl God. Oh, what a pretty girl. What kind of gun you got here? Charming, charming. I'm Sam Ferguson, Mr. Wonka. Nice to meet you, sir. Please. If you need something for your car, uh, call me. Please come on. I'm Mike Sweet. Oh, Mike. Now you're dead. Nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you, too. How do you do? Very good, thank you. Please, come on. Charlie, bye. Charlie, I read a lot about you in the paper. And who is this gentleman with you? My grandfather. Nice to meet you. Overjoyed. Please, come on. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. yes! Yes! So, come on. First room in our chocolate factory is a chocolate room. Hold your breath, make a wish, count to three, and you will be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look. What a disgusting, dirty river! It's industrial waste, it's polluted. It is a chocolate. That's chocolate. That's chocolate. Chocolate river. That's the most fantastic thing I've ever seen. 10,000 gallons an hour. And just see at my chocolate waterfall. This is the most insane thing in my factory. Grandpa, look over the river. The little man. Jumping crocodiles, Charlie. Now we know who makes the chocolate. I've never seen anybody with orange face. Funny looking people, aren't they, Volker? What are they doing there? It must be sugaring or milking time. Well, they can't be real people. Well, they are real people. Stuff and nonsense. No, Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompas? From the Loompa Land. Loompa Land? There's no such place. Oh, you're mistaken, dear lady. Mr. Wonka, I'm a teacher of geography. And then you know all about the Loompa Land and Oompa Loompas. They were in danger. And I said to them, come with me to peace, to my factory. And you will be away from bang doodles, rooten snogwaggers, and vermicious knights. Snogwaggers, vermicious knights. What rubbish is that? All the questions should be written in a written form. And the best secret that I transported full amount of population of Oompa Loompas to my factory. Hey daddy, I want an Oompa Loompa. All right, Peruka, all right. I'll get you one before they are. No, I want an Oompa Loompa now. Mmm, this stuff is terrific. Grandpa, look at Augustus. Don't worry, he can't drink it all. Augustus, sweetheart, save some room for later. Oh, Augustus, don't do that. Please, don't do that. You're contaminating my chocolate river. I beg you, Augustus, don't do that! Mmm, my chocolate! Man overboard! My chocolate! Help! My chocolate! My beautiful chocolate! Help! Don't just stand by and do something! Help! Murder! Police! What? What's happening to him? It's look like he's drowning. That is, save him! I think we can save him. Why? He's in the pipe. He can't swim. So this is the best time to know that. He is gone. He'll be lighted to marshmallows in five seconds. No, you're mistaken, dear lady. Because, Why? because he is going to be in a huge room. You terrible man. Oompa Loompas will help him. <laughs> The 
Augustus Gloop, the great big green evening compoop. Got Augustus Gloop, so big and vile, so greedy, foul, and infantile. Come on, we cry, the time is right to send him shooting up the pipe. But don't dear children be alarmed. Augustus Gloop will not be harmed. Augustus Gloop will not be harmed. Invention room. Invention, my dear friends, is 93% of precipitation, 6% of electricity, 4% of evaporation, and 2% of butterscotch ripple. It's 105%. Uh, excuse me. Don't waste time. That's not bad. The liquor is quicker, the candy is dandy. Please, don't do that. No one just can see this thing. This is the most secret thing on my entire factory. Okay, stop. Just stop. You know what happened? That girl. You know what happened? She ate a free course dinner and then, just listen. Then, we're time for the dessert. She had a blueberry cake. You know what happened? She came into blueberry. Just can you imagine? The girl came into blueberry. So, let's see. Oompa Loompas! What with my daughter? Oh my god! Daughter! I know what they're thinking about. They can do this, but they are doing this. These are, these, these are bigger than normal ones. They're preparing golden eggs for the Easter. But Easter's over! Shh! They don't know that. They're preparing for the next one. But what happens if they drop one of those eggs? An omelette fit for a king, sir. I say really chocolate eggs? Golden chocolate eggs. It is a delicacy, but you can't step over to, it, to them because they're very temperamental. That's why we have got the daddy goose. Daddy what? The daddy goose. stole the golden egg and of course Willy Wonka decided to punish her then you steal something you will be punished right so let's see the punishment Salt, the little brute has just gone down the garbage chute And she will be as she descends A rather different set of friends Well, 
welcome to this room. It is a Bonka Vision room. This is the most latest and the greatest invention ever. It's television? No, it's Bonka Vision. I know you know everything about television and how it works. You photograph something and... All right, all right. So, the next guy, Mike. Mike, he wanted to be a superstar, TV superstar. Uh, for God's sake, Willy Wonka created a magic transporter. Just listen, you can broadcast candies, cookies, milkshakes and everything into the TV set. So, you pick up the item, put it into the transporter and transporter will broadca broadcast it to the TV set. Cool, right? Yeah, that's right. So, Mike right now is a superstar because he jumped into transporter and is gonna be in TV forever, ever, ever. <laughs> Mr. Wonka, I am very busy, sir. I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. The lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. When does he get it? He doesn't. Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. In a, in a section uh, 37B of the contract, it states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void off. Oh, sorry, I forgot to give you a contract. So, the winner lose all his rights and plea privileges if he has eaten something not suggested by Mr. Paul. You're a crook, you're a cheat and a swindler, that's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Building up a little boy's hopes, then smash them into pieces. You're an inhuman monster. I said, good day. Let's get out of here, Charlie. I'll get even with him if it's the last thing I ever do. This boy was a good guy. Why were you so angry? What? Why was I so angry with Charlie? It wasn't I, it was a justice. We have our rules and he has broken them. What did he do? He tries to eat my sweet things. I hate when somebody eats my sweets. They're mine. But, but we eat your sweet every day and you know about this. You are my friends, aren't you? But you know the difference between stranger boy and you. You are my real friends. Don't you understand? I don't want to upset you. We are not your friends. We work in your factory. We see you every day. We communicate with you. But we are not be your friends. But Charlie can't be your friend. Why, Charlie? Remember his kind times. I think he never say bad words about you. If you want to check this, you must go to Charlie's house. Come on, Charlie, don't be upset. You could visit the famous Mr. Wonka's chocolate factory. Isn't it great? I don't, I don't said about the price, but I worried about Mr. Wonka. He is alone. He doesn't have any friends. Oh dear, come.
Oh, this boy is so kind. This is a miracle. Mr. Wonka? Charlie, I realized that you are my true friend and I want to ask you for forgiveness. Mr. Wonka, I'm not mad at you. Charlie, I think I'll give you a lifetime supply of chocolate. Oh, where I can take my prize? Charlie, this is not what you're thinking about. I'll give you my most famous chocolate factory. Mr. Wonka, I seriously... Don't believe him, Charlie! He's a fraud! Don't believe him! Uh, my grandpa Joe, you know that guy, yeah? <laughs> He's such a cool guy. <laughs> Just imagine he punched Willy Wonka <laughs> into his jaw. <laughs> like a Mike Tyson. <laughs> uh, okay, but <laughs> they are friends. Don't worry, they are friends and they had a cup of uh, milkshake together after that. I have my chocolate factory, everything is cool, uh, we live great. I want to say one thing, just one thing. Believe in yourself and make your dreams come true.